아니야 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 <laughs> Every Korean drama's main leads have incredible chemistry, which is one of the primary things we anticipate. Yet some couples completely miss the mark. Kim Jung Hyun and I am Soo Hyung. In Kokdu, Season of Deity, Kim Jung Hyun and I am Soo Hyung are featured. Currently, internet users are discussing this drama a lot. Two years after his manipulation, the drama represents Jung Hyun's comeback on television. Since netizens were not yet ready to see him on film once more, Scandal garnered a lot of negative feedback before it even aired. As the drama was being shown, viewers were aware of three factors that led them to stop watching. Poorly done. First, the drama was badly produced, especially its boring content. It received little attention and only had an average viewing of 2% at its conclusion. Boring chemistry. Second, their on-screen chemistry was completely off. When Soo Hyung was questioned, she admitted that she had great chemistry with the actors and that they would all get along because they are all friends of the same age, but it seems like they failed to convey this alleged great chemistry. Viewers have even noted that despite their stunning visuals, Jung Hyun and I am Soo Hyung just don't look good together. One commenter went so far as to say that pairing them with another actor Actor would have been preferable since they just didn't have the same romantic vibes together. Soo Young's stiff acting, however, didn't receive any praise. So it wasn't just Young Hyun who was being attacked. Plastic surgery. Netizens speculated that the actress's lack of facial expression during scenes may be due to plastic surgery and other beauty treatments. As can be seen, the cast has a significant impact on how well a drama is accepted, particularly when one of the principal performers decides to make an unexpected reappearance after being inactive for a while in the entertainment business. Hey! Have you subscribed to our channel? If not, hurry up and do subscribe to the channel, Kang So Ra and Jung Seung Jo. In this case, Kang So Ra's comeback drama, Stranger Again, helps the drama gain attention before it airs, as netizens were looking forward to seeing her on the small screen after a break of six years, and even more so, people were excited to see her paired with none other than Jung Seung Jo, both of whom are well known in the field for their respective works. Apart from the protagonist couple's fights, the drama lacked romance, and, more specifically, the actors didn't have any connection with one another, which was something that netizens also couldn't help but notice. Kim Nam Gil, Cha Yoon Woo, and Lee Da Hee. The three major characters in the drama island, Kim Nam Gil, Cha Yoon Woo, and Lee Da Hee, may not be couples, but they haven't displayed even the slightest connection with one another. The drama isn't really a love tale, therefore this case won't be about a couple. However, it's still crucial to have performers who can complement one another's performances and work together to create a synergy on screen. Despite their original arrangement, a viewer's review of the program said that the actor had no chemistry with one another and even described them as unpleasant. As a result of the response, several people asserted that the actor's chemistry was so poor that the film team could as well have shot them separately. There is no doubt that the actors are well known and prominent in the industry, but it looks like they were unable to connect with the audience on screen and were unable to provide what the viewers wanted. However, we can't only place the responsibility for this. It all depends on how well matched the actors are, right? We all know how important the first episode is in laying the groundwork for the entire narrative, yet the drama's first episode was poor and failed to draw viewers into the storyline. Consequently, the final result was an extremely low rate of 1.2%. John Do Yeon and Jung Kyung Ho, this couple we're about to mention may spark a debate among netizens, with some agreeing and others disagreeing, so who are we talking about? John Do Yeon and Jung Kyung Ho in Crash Course in Romance overall, the drama did well and ended on a high note, with an average nationwide rating of 17%. However, a number of people noted that there was no chemistry between the two stars in a post title titled, John Do Yeon and Young Kyung Ho had zero chemistry. Netizens expressed their opinions about the on-screen couple. The majority of them actually adored the program, but had grown tired of the drama and even felt embarrassed while watching the two interact. When the drama got to the romance section, people began to think that John Do Yeon and Young Kyung Ho weren't a good match for one another. Then, netizens pointed to the fact that John Do Yeon and Young Kyung Ho are 10 years apart in age, as one of the causes for their lack of love chemistry. One viewer even pointed out a particular scene where where John Do Yeon and Young Kyung Ho were out for a stroll after eating, and they even commented on how tacky Do Yeon's outfit and hairstyle were, particularly her vest, which they said made them think of an aunt out for a stroll with her nephew or a boarding house owner and a young tenant. The drama itself was fantastic, without a question, but was their age difference really that bothersome? Yoon Shi Yoon and Seol In Ah. The leads in When Our Love Remains As Scent, as viewers were eager to see Yoon Shi Yoon and Seol In Ah working together because they are both well known in the Korean entertainment.
entertainment industry and had great chemistry with their former co-stars. However, they fell flat and didn't even give off the couple vibes. The plot of the film centers on the characters of Chang Su, played by Sher Yoon, and A.H. Ra, played by In Ah, who both struggle to find love. However, A.H. Ra has everything figured out through her career, while Chang Su hasn't yet straightened that path. However, Things changed and magic began when a perfume that makes people fall in love appears before the wedding. After watching the film, netizens said that they had never witnessed such a lifeless love story. Even the kissing sequences were uninspired. In addition to the main lead's lack of chemistry, the movie also received a lot of criticism for its dull plot. And as a whole, the movie did not do well at all. Another viewer said they could barely stand to watch the movie for more than 30 minutes because the couple lacked chemistry and it was too fast-paced. Yu In Na and Hyun Min Yoon Although Yu In N.A. and Hyun Min Yoon both have excellent aesthetics, their chemistry fails to make an impression on viewers. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why their drama failed to catch audiences' attention. Bo Ra Debra performed worse than anticipated. In addition to having strong chemistry with the fellow co-stars, Ayn N.A. is renowned as one of the rom-com queens. The fact that she couldn't create a strong chemistry with Min Yoon shocked the viewers. The drama centers on Bo Ra, a popular influencer and love coach who goes by the stage name Debra to conceal her true identity. Her own love life, however, is upended when her boyfriend unexpectedly pops the question while she crosses paths with a publishing planner. The series was intended to be a light-hearted conventional K-drama rom-com, but as the narrative grew increasingly predictable, viewers started to abandon it one by one. Not to mention the absence of chemistry between the main characters, which is risky considering the drama is all about romance. Well, if you are a K-pop fan and want to stay up to date on the latest K-pop news and controversial videos, subscribe to our channel. Lee Do Hyun and Song i.e. Kayo. The final couple that we have is highly contentious, as the public has had a variety of opinions on them. They are Lee Do-hyun and Song Hai-e Kyo in The Glory. Even though The Glory is undoubtedly one of the finest dramas to be aired in 2023, some fans have criticized it for what they claim is a lack of chemistry between Lee Do-hyun and Song Hai-e Kyo. Even critics deemed one of their kissing sequences superfluous. While some wanted Hai-e Kyo to end up with a different character because of their unnecessary kiss, an article by Outlet 10 Asia claimed that Moon Dong Yoon and Ju Yo Jong's kiss scene prevented Netflix's The Glory from achieving its goal of being a glorious drama that ends as strong as it began. But did their kiss truly destroy the drama's ideal ending? According to the post, their kiss sequence disrupted the drama's flow, since it didn't match the way the storyline should have developed. The article also said that the kiss scene prevented readers from fully immersing themselves in the story, blaming the writer for this kiss scene. Without the original speech, it appears as though Kim Yoon Suk's prior romantic comedies were copied and pasted. The piece gained a lot of attention and several viewers felt that the kiss scene wasn't required and that the couple's lack of chemistry was partly to blame. One commenter said, I believe it is a chemistry issue. Love isn't something that can be rationally understood, so I don't think this would have been a problem if the chemistry was good. People started shipping Haya Kyo with Young Seung Il the moment their characters met, especially in the scene where they didn't even speak, but their gaze and the tension between them were undeniable there. Another viewer brought up how most people even wanted Hyakyo's character to end up with Ha Du Young, despite them being at odds. While this just proves Hyakyo has more chemistry with him instead of Du Hyun. If you had the chance to remake the drama, would you prefer that Hyakyo's character end up with Sung Il rather than Du Hyun? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.